he was a good kid. I mean, he was always too sensitive for this world in so many ways. He seemed to feel things more acutely and often couldn't manage those emotional responses. And as we grew up, you know, the problems became bigger and he still had no coping skills and the emotions became bigger. It had continually deteriorated over, I would say, since October of last year. And to be candid, I loved him as my brother, but I didn't recognize him. I mean, I, he seemed possessed or demonic. Like, there was no inkling of that child that we loved who could sing opera and you know, crack jokes. It just wasn't there anymore. There were so many triggers, I have no idea. And I wouldn't pay anything to know and to, to know why he would do this and hurt those people and to think that somebody you know and love and lived with for 20 years would drive a car to a school. It's heartrending for those people. We cannot help but feel that, A, he needed better mental health care, and we needed a way to get that for him, because that is something I think that would have changed this story. And then, B, he had no business with guns and, and as painful as this is, we have to have this discussion as a nation because I don't think that I could bear another family sitting in my chair talking about this or, you know, those people who got calls that, you know, their friends and family were victims. We have to do something. We have to do better.